News 5's John Kosick joins us now. And John, much like the House vote today, the Senate is split along party lines. Yeah, at this point, it's looking that way. I spoke today with Ohio Senators Sherrod Brown and Rob Portman about the road ahead. They were both in the House in 1998. The last time we had an impeachment vote, Portman voted to impeach President Clinton. Brown did not. Their views in this case, 21 years later, as you can imagine, are different. As the House moves forward on impeachment, someone to watch will be Republican Ohio Senator Rob Portman. Portman pushed for the aid to Ukraine that is at the center of the inquiry. And when it was held up, he was the one who reportedly pushed the president to release it. Once it was, end of story. In terms of it being a demand or a quid pro quo and so on, uh, the aid went. Look, I've said very plainly, as you know, that it's inappropriate for the president to have spoken to a foreign government about his political opponent, period. And so I don't, I don't, uh, I don't approve of that. Uh, but the question is, is that an impeachable offense? Senator Sherrod Brown, in a word, says yes. When a president of the United States um, holds up $400 million and tells another country who is going to get that money to fight the Russians that you're not going to get that money until you, um, until you help my campaign, help me personally, that's impeachable. That's a breaking of federal law. Richard Nixon didn't even do that kind of stuff. Senator Portman told me he believes we know what was in the call between President Trump and President Zelensky, and that's good. But we don't know the full uh, call, do we? Well, we I, I, I think we do. I mean, it's not there is no verbatim transcript, I guess, of these calls. So you take the notes. Uh, but I don't think anybody has disputed that this is the nature of the call. But the New York Times reporting in his testimony this week, Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman, who was on the call, said he unsuccessfully sought to correct the transcript. In the end, Portman said the people will decide this in a few months. So do you want to take this extreme measure of impeachment, which is basically saying, you know, forget what the people said in the election. We're going to remove a president from office again in the context of us already being in the election. Uh, and the money did go. Uh, and that was important. Well, in the meantime, Portman added that the rest of the work of Washington slows immensely as this becomes the main focus now through the rest of the year. Live in the newsroom, John Kosick, News 5.